Like and subscribe. What is your guilty sexual pleasure, and why? No guilt, all pleasure. Classic edit, whoa guys thanks for all the love. This is the most recognized I've ever been in my life cheers. I wish everyone delicious kinky sex for the rest of your lives. When nobody is home, a naked fap with nobody around. Why? Because somebody is usually always home. But the ghost of great grandma is always watching. When my wife grabs my randomly in the car or in public. She is very slick so nobody ever sees it. I remember her doing it under the table at dinner at her mom's house once when they had some company over. She was looking at and talking to them like nothing was happening. Probably one of the sexiest and wildest things I'll have ever done. Edit, my most upvoted comment is about getting a handy at dinner. Being called a good girl after I do something that makes them happy. Asking sexual questions on a credit, rather than just looking at porn like a normal person. Being naked outside. No one knows I do it, but when I go camping, or out away from the city I see how long I can be naked outdoors, or how far I can get from my clothes, that I just took off. Being naked at home is fun too, just not as exciting. Stockings. Titty. I'm feels and looks so good, but it does come with a bit of guilt, because the lady gets little to no pleasure from it. Same with blowjobs, I guess. I think it's fine, as long as you return the favor for her in some way. Besides, some women surely really like that. Edit, RIP my inbox what the hell. Apparently you'll have taken this comment as some kind of invitation. Let me clarify a couple things. First and foremost, I'm happily married, and not looking for anything else. Secondly, I have no interest in titty. i And finally please, for the love, do not message me. You will be blocked. I love giving oral, and while it's surprising just how many ladies aren't so down with receiving it, I think the guilty part is how much pleasure I get out of it when someone is really into it. Like holding my face in between her legs so hard I can't breathe, trying to make her come like my life depends on it before I suffocate, then pushing me on my back for round two, straddling and grinding my face till it's just a sticky mess sort of levels. You available this weekend? One time my wife was drunk and feeling frisky, she started sucking me off massaging my balls, then slammed a vibrator in my... That was probably the most amazing orgasm I ever had, and she only gets this way, while drinking and rarely drinks. I have never wanted someone to be an alcoholic more. Sneaking off into to the other room to quietly masturbate, and get myself ready for my husband, and he comes in, to find me soaking wet and ready for him which boosts the mood and confidence when in reality I just finger bang the out of myself for 5 minutes. I've since told him about it, but he still enjoys it. Hitting level 99 would cutting on rune escape. A leisurely chill off early in the morning, before my husband Awa turns so vertical bar then a leisurely. When he does. The best way to start off the weekend. It's Thursday, you delinquent. Literotica. Public sex. Due to the risk. NSFW audios. Eating a girl out, and then carrying on with my day. Just the act of giving her an orgasm, and then walking off happily without getting anything in return. I like my women, like I like my coffee. In my mouth. Public sex and my face being sat on. Genuinely read that as shat, and I was really alarmed. Honestly I am a guy, and when a woman escalates things, that makes me feel so desirable and wanted. Also having my name moaned, is also friggin awesome. I find guilt in itself is the ultimate aphrodisiac. Catholic? Being dominated. As a male, I am not proud of it. But I dk. I have always had a passive personality, and just being told what to do or forced what to do. 
pimp down. Just like, is awesome to me. A submissive man is still a manly man. Just as much as a dom or switch. Don't feel bad about it 3. Thick. Thighs. I just like to get a big ol' mouthful, or have them massaged or be massaged. I use cunnilingus to get me hard. Something about having a woman on earth's thighs squeezing my head, and feeling her squirm, and twitch while her <laughs> juices on my face gets me in the mood to <laughs> Trashy romance novels. I love to watch cute guys jerk off. I love seeing a guy pleasure himself thinking about me. It is even fun to strip in front of him, but not letting him touch me, just his. Consensual non-consent. I have been sexually abused both as a child, and in my late teens. I have always liked BDSM, and when I discovered CNC I felt like it was my way of taking control back. It was taken from me at such a young age, and I felt like I would never have that part of me back, but knowing I have the power to simply say stop, and have them do so immediately is actually very liberating. Last update, I promise. If y'all have stuck with us this far, I simply don't know it have the words, to tell you how much love I have for each and every person who has offered support, validation for others here, and nothing but acceptance and love. It has been incredible to be able to bring so many people together, and start a huge journey with just one little comment. I will remember this moment of love, and learning for the rest of my life. To all who have given me awards, I am flabbergasted, I don't feel I deserve them, but I must be coolest apparently. Thank you all so much, you yeah, have been truly wonderful. I have done my best to reply to everyone but, if anyone has any questions, or would like to chat please feel free to drop me a message. At this rate I'll have to create my own subreddit where everyone can be empowered together. Whether you're an abuse survivor, or someone who is interested in CNC, you are amazing, and I am honored to have met you. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart, I'm so proud of everyone who has shared their stories here, I will never forget you. My name is DC, and it was truly a pleasure, to have spoken to all of you wonderful people. I have no words to express how humbled, and grateful I am, just, thank you. Edit 3. I cannot believe how many people this is reaching, and the conversations, that are happening because of this. I never imagined my little guilty pleasure would become such a place for healing. Getting guys, when well validating our feelings, and falling in love with life. 3. Edit 2. Guys this is beautiful, if there I on earth just over here in the comments, being validated for how they feel, and told it's I know it's strange or weird, nothing but love and support. This is amazing, thank you from the bottom of my heart for the upvotes, because this is reaching all the right people. Y'are insane, so much love. Edit, CNC is the act of giving consent prior, then role playing slash pretending. That consent has not been given. I hope this clears it up. Had a few folks asking me privately, so I just wanted to try offer an explanation. Wow oh no please don't waste awards on me. Thank you so much though. 3. I used to be really into sneaky public stuff, but not so much anymore, but hero is what ruined it all for me. When I was 15, I am 22 now, I was getting a hand job under a blanket watching a movie and my whole family of 6 comes downstairs within 10 minutes and she does know it stop, and I like that, and I thought we were so sneaky, but recently I was chatting with my mom about something embarrassing, and she randomly said can it be more embarrassing than getting a hand job in front of your whole family. Edit, my mom is the type of lady, to drop something really heavy to get a reaction, usually in a joking manner. Women crying and women cheating on their partners with me. Because crying is hot, and I love the idea of someone disrespecting their relationship to be with me. Like they need to be with me so badly they are willing to break their vows to do it. People downvoting you for giving a true guilty sexual pleasure. I wish people didn't treat the downvote button as an I disagree button. Getting face. And by my BF. It just gets me so hot to feel him getting wild. When going doggy style, looking at her butthole. 
It's like the most private place she has. No other way would you be able to see it. No other way would you be able to see it. Oh there is. Getting tied up. You should be asking what I snow at my guilty sexual pleaser. My guilty sexual pleasure is when people randomly leave off the last letter in their pose. I really enjoy pegging guys. As a woman this is seen as surprising a lot of the time d-d-e-u-r-e-u-r-e. I like to get really high and my with a prostate massager till I come hands free. That's not safe man. If you're going to be high, OSHA suggests three points of contact. Being squirted on. Asterisk Herbert Donald you know, squirt is P-U-R asterisk. I absolutely do not give a Rim jobs, love the way it feels. I like kissing a lot, it arouses me. Because I don't have a GF, only FWBs, I feel guilty of kissing too much. Busting open a Folgers Aramazil, and why do I need to explain myself? Come. I just want so much all over me. I love the taste. It is like never enough lol. Surprisingly, my boyfriend comes more than anyone I have ever seen, even in porn. It is insane lol. I feel like when a match made in heaven when it asterisk cums asterisk to that. My gf and I were having sex early on in our relationship. I finished maybe a bit too quickly, and she pushed my head down, and had me eat her out. Weirdly, I really enjoyed it, but also felt guilty, like it was dirty. Sometimes I finish early on purpose after that first time, so that she will do the same thing. Never had a girl do that before, so sexy for some reason. You've been visited by the ghost of a very important man. Pay your respects by liking and subscribing, and he'll grant you three weeks of good luck, good luck, good luck.